Hey fourth grade, how are you guys doing? I'm um, doing a little swap over today. I've been doing some reading videos and I'm going to try my first Alabama history video today. So got some stuff spread out and I might be a little jumbled today, but we're going to do the best we can. Before you even go in to read the book, and if you've already read part of the book, that's fine. We're going to start with chapter seven in our history book where we left off at school. But before you do that, I want us to take a look at a workbook page first because you really don't even need to read anything to do the first workbook page with Chapter 7. Now, Chapter 7 is all about the Civil War and, and why we fought in the Civil War, what happened during the Civil War. Um, the Northern States and the Southern States having disagreements on several things, and we'll get into that in just a few minutes. But what I would encourage you to do is sit down on a sheet of paper or just jot it down in your notes on your iPad or whatever and just kind of think about the things that you already know about the Civil War. I know a lot of you history buffs out there probably know as much or more than I do about the Civil War. So this is the page I want you to look at first in your workbook. It is page 61. It's a chart. Okay, now I'm going to go over the questions in this chart to make sure if I can read them. Um, this is more kind of like a geography, kind of like a math lesson, reading a chart. We've also done that in reading class, too, when we talked about text features. At the top, pay close attention to your title. Section 1 from our book, The North and South Disagree. Resources of no Northern and Southern States Before the Civil War. So that is the title of this chart. Now look at your chart. You have three columns in this chart. You have your resources, your South, and your North. Now, for population is the first thing. For South, there were 12 million folks. And in parentheses, it says 4 million slaves. That's not 12 plus 4. That's, that 4 goes in with that 12. So 12 million people in the South and 19 million in the North. And then you have your industry workers, and it goes back and forth through the chart. And that's all you really need to answer these first questions. I'm going to read them out loud to you. Number one. What is the title of the chart? Like I said, go back to the top. It's usually in bold capital letters. We know about a title. Number two, how many miles of railroad track did the South have? And then the North. It's going to be right up in the chart. Number three, what were population, the populations of the North and South? Number four, which side was more industrialized? Now, you're going to see that up there where it says industry workers. So, like, how many people work in factories? How many industries? Um, number five, what advantages did the North have? I want you to think about that for just a minute. Look at all the numbers on the North side of the chart. They had more people. They had more industries. They had more factories. They had more railroads. They had more farmland. I mean, they had all of the advantages. Okay, and then number six, which side could raise a larger army? Now, if you want to raise an army, you got to have people. So, which side had the most people? Okay. Now, on the back of that, we have another chart. Now, I'm going to go through some things, and you might want to just look at this and, um, and maybe mark some page numbers as notes before you actually go through and read through the textbook. That might kind of help you. All right, let me get my stuff together. Okay, so, this is a comparison chart. First, we're going to compare the population. Now, Work smarter, not harder. All I have to do is flip back a page because it told me the population. However, if you want to look it up on the book, it's on page 196. Okay, and you're just going to plug those numbers in. Then you've got number of states. Now, this was a tricky one. You're going to find that um, in, on page 198 in your textbook, but it's not in the text. It's, when it, it's in one of our text features. It's a little textbook. Uh, I'm sorry, a text box. Um, on page 198, it says about Alabama, and it tells you how many states were for the north and how many states were for the south. Okay, so the next one is belief, uh, beliefs about your state rights. Okay, so on um, page 196, you might want to mark that page down, it has states' rights at the top. Okay, and basically that's just talking about one of the reasons why the North and the South were fighting, um, the Southern states believed that the states should have their rights and be able to enforce those, and the North thought that it should be all controlled by federal. Okay, next one is type of economy. You're going to find economy on page 196, 
and 197. It's the first part of the answer is on the bottom and then the, it ends up on the top of the next page about their economy. Um, now we know that by looking at the chart from page 61 in our workbook that there were more industries and factories um, in the north and then in the south we, we were mostly farming. So that would be more like agricultural. All right, and um, the last one, uh, attitudes about slavery. I think you probably already know that without even reading, um, but I didn't mark a page on that. Um, I think you can find that actually on the very first page of the chapter, page 195. We all know that probably the northern states did not believe in slavery and the southern states did. So that will kind of help you go through the chapter and navigate and be able to answer those questions.